The question now is that the amendment be agreed to, and I call the member for Hughes. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. It's pleased to rise this afternoon to speak on the Customs Amendment, immediate destruction of illicit tobacco bill of 2019. Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, why we need this bill is because we in this nation have decided correctly that we want to crack down and we want to reduce the consumption of tobacco in this nation. Because we know of the adverse health effects that it has upon the Australian population and the costs that it puts on our hospital and medical system. So what we've done, Madam Deputy Speaker, from a bipartisan policy from both sides of this House, we've decided to increase the retail price of cigarettes through increasing the excise and the duty. So what we have, Madam Deputy Speaker, the price of cigarettes in Australia is now the dearest in the world. As an example, a pack of 20 Marlboros in Australia costs $27 a packet. Or for a smoker that has one a day, one packet a day that is, that's a cost of close to $10. However, that exact same packet that cost $27 in Australia cost $16.67 in the UK, the equivalent of $9.51 in the USA, and in Vietnam, the packet of cigarettes that retails for $27 in Australia is available retail for the equivalent of $1.47 Australian. So going down this track, Madam Deputy Speaker, it's been good news for the budget. We've put an extra $12.5 billion a year that smokers add to this, our government's bottom line. But in doing so, Madam Deputy Speaker, our history tells us whenever you put high rates of duty high rates of tax, when a government steps in like that does, you create a dangerous black market. And that's unfortunately what has happened. But we knew that, Madam Deputy Speaker. Just a few recent examples. Last week, Australian Border Force officers intercepted 670 kilos of tobacco illegally shipped from China. It was rough cut tobacco that was found in a shipment of floor tiles a container that arrived on the 30th of August. The Australian Border Force says examination of the consignment revealed that 672 kilograms of tobacco was hidden inside boxes between layers of tiles, representing more than $800,000 evaded in duty and GST. So the more we put the price of cigarettes up with the taxes, the more incentives we give to the black market, we give to criminals to get involved in this illicit trade. So we have to have the response from the policing end, Madam Deputy Speaker. And there is a significant issue with this. A recent story from the Australian Financial Review, and I'd like to quote from it. Illegal tobacco sales are flourishing in suburban and rural shopping centres, outraging retailers and frustrating renewed government efforts to crack down on the trade estimated to cost taxpayers up to $3.8 billion in lost duty. A weekend fight AFR investigation reveals well-stocked retail outlets offering a wide range of cheap, illegal Asian and Middle Eastern and untaxed popular brands such as Marlboro, selling for a fraction of the price that they would at legal outlets. Now I can vouch in my electorate, I think in almost any suburb in my electorate I could go to and I could find a retailer that is selling illegal product. And I'm sure, Madam Deputy Speaker, that most of everyone else here in this chamber would be able to do exactly the same thing. That's why this legislation is necessary. So what we are doing, that's the Customs Act of 1991 currently requires seized prohibited imports to be stored for a minimum of 30 days before destruction. 
This storage requirement, together with the legislative and administrative requirements for prohibited imports, will impact upon border operations and limit the ability of the government to regulate and manage illicit tobacco effectively. This bill will amend the Customs Act to empower the Comptroller of General of Customs to deal with seized tobacco in a manner that he or she considers appropriate, including immediate destruction of the goods. Similar controls already exist for other prohibited imports, including seized psychoactive substances and prohibited serious drug alternatives. These amendments will improve the handling of seized illicit tobacco, resulting in effective regulation of tobacco permit conditions and enabling greater focus on targeting of illicit tobacco. This bill will improve financial outcomes for the government and will also enhance the implementation of new tobacco, tobacco measures. Ultimately, mean, Madam Deputy Speaker, this simply can't be about revenue raising. The ultimate gut idea, the ultimate goal we are trying to do is to drive down the rates of smoking. And thankfully, we have the recent KMG reports shows that under this government there has been a recent significant decline in smoking rates across the nation. The government is having success. Our policies are working. But we need to continue to look at the law enforcement side to make sure we give our law enforcement agencies the ability to crack down on these illegal syndicates that are continuing to exploit our laws, to exploit smokers, Madam Deputy Speaker, and engage in this illegal activity. <coughs> Therefore, Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm pleased to commend this bill to the House.